atmosphere real, Megatron, Megatron's ascent into madness in Transformers 1 was absolutely perfectly done. I know obviously you might see this and say like, no, it's not like there's, it feels very abrupt and not that much flushing out, but I would like to personally disagree with you heavily. And I mean that with a personal passion of mine, which makes no sense, honestly. But I mean, to be honest here, Megatron was really well done in terms of visuals, the great visuals that really helped show his progression. Then you have Brian Tyree Henry's amazing performance as Megatron. Like you could see his voice slowly progress into something so authoritarian, and I really like that at the time. And presence. That's leadership. Ah, oh, nobody does it better. Megatron. And then finally, you have. The writing, the character writing for Megatron is handled expertly. And I feel like it's very subtle too in the little ways that the mannerisms done. But I feel like that mannerisms are showed through the visuals, which the animation is done perfectly done. In terms of the visuals, visually Megatron is absolutely cool to see in the character in terms of how he transforms into a far more rigid dude. I mean, if you were to think about it, I mean structured wise and all that but he literally becomes far more far less unbalanced if you really look at the character design of megatron where he literally has a gun by the second act and he you can see that it causes that imbalance of mentality it's actually really cool to see how like the little visual cues of megatron dictate his mental space which is actually really cool to see i think that's really well done in terms of the character design and how they adapted the G1 design while also modernizing it and making it just look really cool. And I like that a ton, you know? And people always point out the eyes. The eyes of Megatron is very, very, very different. The eyes of Megatron are so telling. And it's, I think it's really cool to see how he slowly progresses from his yellow eyes that progresses into the red eyes, which is really cool. I really like that. I saw this on Twitter or, yeah where they said that like the Megatron eyes, they really represent his mood as well, where he in with the yellow eyes, he represents more of like a far more like content mood. I like to say that. And then when you get into the second act where he's far more angrier and he's like, he's far more like on a different mood. I don't know how to describe it necessarily. I'm not the guy who brought the Twitter post, but I saw it and I thought it was pretty brilliant. And then finally, the final one was, He's just Megatron. He's just a man who's absolutely unhinged and does not care about the system anymore. Which, yeah, I love those visuals a ton, but I also want to move on to the writing of Megatron, which the character writing of Megatron really represents why I feel like Megatron has the potential to be one of the best villains of all time. Because I feel like we always mention the best villains of all time is Darth Vader, Thanos. I love Commander a ton, so I'm putting Commander up there. Fuck okay. yeah. Of course, Joser. My. Joker. Joker, my bad. But I feel like Megatron should be up there sooner or later because he is literally the 1A to the 1B of Transformers. He should be the 1A to 1B of Transformers. Instead, it's Bumblebee. It shouldn't be that way, honestly. I feel like it should be Optimus Prime first and then Megatron second. I feel like that's how it should be. They complement one another, basically the yin and yang. And I feel like we've been missing that in Transformers media and in uh, pop culture. You know, I feel like Megatron is pretty popular in the pop culture medium, but he isn't explored as well to make him cement to that higher tier, you know? The character writing here for Megatron is absolutely splendid. You know, I feel like the way how the way how Megatron is as a character, where he goes from this structured guy who likes to follow the rules, which is very interesting, and then he transforms into this rebel because I mean, you see such a guy just lose it. You know, he loses his structure. He loses his faith in the structure, in the system that they've, that Cybertron has created for him and other miners. And it makes sense if you really look at in the film where, spoilers, I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but spoilers, Megatron and the rest of the guys really find out that Sentinel Prime is a scumbag and him being a leader is just painted in blood and there's no reason for him to be leader. It is right for them to expose Sentinel as a fraud, which I like to see that. But the problem with Megatron in this case is he wants to tear down the system and tear it down to a way where they have to burn it down. And the problem with that is how 
the way how Prime puts it is you are basically doing what Sentinel is doing, which is an interesting take, but I feel like he is kind of right because if you see it, Sentinel Prime burnt down the entire system to get what he wanted. He took control of his future and his power through force and oppression. And in this way, Megatron is going to do the same thing and he's going to tear down the entire system of Cybertron, which is built by Sentinel, don't get me wrong, it's really bad. But I feel like tearing down the entire system doesn't make much sense if you have no plan to build it back up, you know? Optimus Prime has a lot more of a um, optimistic view of Cybertronians and also makes a view of how they view um, their savior, their savior, Sentinel Prime, which is very cool to see how um, he has hope in them. He has hope that they would change their perception of this leader and change of um, being united, you know, being united in overthrowing the system and replacing it with a brand new one that would help cement them and help Cybertronians be better, you know, and allow people to have their own choices. Megatron and Sentinel Prime are trying to do the exact opposite and trying to oppress it. In a way where Megatron hasn't got that far, to be honest with you, he hasn't gone that far to oppress people yet. But you can see the the power he is trying to force upon himself. Where he's trying to really make this point of putting one bot over another. And for example, he did that with Starscream, which obviously, poor Starscream, that's just a hint of their abusive relationship. But I feel like that transformation from Megatron being a simple guy to a dictator and an authoritarian figure is really well done because of the gradual and um, subtle nature of it, you know? Like, it's not spelled out to you about how he's feeling. It is pretty spelled out to you how he's feeling, to be honest with you, and honestly, it's kind of funny. But they really tore it up with Megatron. And I don't think I've talked about Brian Tyree Henry's performance enough, because um, his performance really showed um, how submissive Megatron was to the system, which I like that a ton, to see that growing anger and growing um, resentment towards towards Cybertron's system. And I think the way how it's handled, where we see this guy, <laughs> this guy, where we see this guy go from um, loving the system. And you can see that in Brian Tyra Henry's voice and performance, where it is far more meek and mellow. Oh, it's really cool. Thanks. But when you find out that you've been doing this entire thing for a system that does not care for you, it's going to piss some people off. And it's pissed off D16. And it changed him in a way where he wants to retaliate. He wants to show them that they are not to be messed with anymore and he's sick of the shit. he's sick of being shit on and it's really interesting to see how you can hear all of that the menace and the terror in his voice once he tears up sentinel prime follow me and you will never again be deceived and you can hear the spite and you can hear the anger of this guy and i love it i love to hear this guy absolutely rage out and show that he wants this shit so bad. And I love it. I love it so much. And and props to him, man. He is a great actor. I mean, the, the guy doesn't get enough um, credit for his range. Okay, let's just be real. Overall, Megatron is a fantastic character. And his progression into madness from going to D16 to Megatron was handled perfectly in Transformers 1 because of the awesome visuals, the awesome character writing, and the awesome performance by Brian Tyree Henry. Hear that the author, the author, like I said, the authoritarian. You can hear the authoritarian me.